Hi there, my name is Emma. I am a Montessori mom of twins, and today I want to share with you some Montessori-inspired homemaking. So I started out my day with some coffee, and my boys actually went back to sleep this day, which was a real gift, and so I got some laundry done and cleaned out the cloth diapers as a way to help save money we have done cloth diapering and sometimes that means just a little extra time getting things sprayed out and cleaned up if you are curious about my cloth diapering routine I will link a blog post in the show notes about how we've done cloth diapering with twins on a budget I actually have cloth diapered since the newborn stage for under $300, which is pretty amazing in my mind. So we're getting started with some sweet potato pancakes for the boys. Now that they're eating solid food, they eat about three meals a day, which is quite impressive. So for this to get done, sometimes that means strapping a baby to your back and getting things cleaned up while the other one roams around. Here you see me just changing out and cleaning up our little Montessori inspired pouring station. Uh, One skill that the boys have been working on is drinking from an open cup and by offering this little pitcher in these small glasses, it just reminds me to offer uh, water to them throughout the day. And today I'm going to get started on a project. So this is our little entry area. For the last few weeks and months, I've just felt like I need to do something here, but not sure what. And so I found this little bench at the thrift store for $7, and I was so excited about that. And so I'm just pulling out my bin of baskets and little pieces of treasures that I have collected over the years. I was a Montessori teacher in the classroom and had lots of little trays and baskets and special little goodies that I have kept over the years. And so I was digging in there to find a few little treasures. As you see, I move things around. This is kind of less part of the process of preparing the environment. It takes a lot of trial and error. It's very rare that on the first time of setting something up, that's the way that it stays. I just need to see it a few different ways to see how I might like it. And so I didn't like it that way. I thought it looked a little odd, and so I decided to move it back and keep this little bench right by our front door. And it's just the perfect size for them right now. Obviously, they'll probably outgrow it within the next year, but then we'll be able to size up to something a little more. But for now, it's perfect. They can sit on this tiny bench and their feet hit the floor. It's just great. So I'm going to install a few little hooks on the side of it for their jackets. Right now, it's not quite winter. We're just in the fall season. And so some vests are what we are currently using on chilly days. just preparing for when we do have those even cooler days and we need our hats and mittens. So I'm trying out this basket to see what I think. Uh, Spoiler alert, I don't keep this one out and I do something else. But my little helpers uh, had a little bit of a snack here. I gave them some pumpkin bread that I had made and they enjoyed their snack while I continued to work um, setting up this area. In our homes, in Montessori, we refer to it as the prepared environment. And that means taking time to prepare it with their needs in mind. And so for us right now, that means things that are child size, that are accessible, and that are beautiful. 
I feel like that beauty aspect is really important when it comes to preparing our environment. And like I said, beautiful doesn't mean it has to be expensive. This whole little area cost me $7 to put together um, because I got the bench used and I had a few of the other little objects laying around. So I'm asking the boys input here on the artwork that they would like in their little entryway. I just held up two options and you see that one of them gravitated towards this beautiful wooden circle um, piece of artwork. And in fact, they have really enjoyed this. I'd love to check out one of my shorts where they have a whole conversation in front of this piece of art. Um, and I just love that. It really helped me after creating the space see that they appreciate when things are prepared for them and are their size and are welcoming to their small person. And so I had set this up with um, a hook for their jackets and I just didn't quite like how it was. I sat with it for a few hours and then realized that um, it wasn't quite how I wanted it to look. And so I found these other little baskets in my stash of things and I just decided to switch it out and this is actually the way that we've kept it now. So we have their gloves in one basket and their hats in one. I also stashed a few little pairs of socks in there just so we had them. So I'm really excited and I really love how this area turned out in our space. Again, just working to prepare those areas for them to have the opportunities to be independent. We're moving upstairs into their nursery. This is their Montessori wardrobe, which is kind of a DIY project from an Ikea Calyx shelf. And now I'm just putting together a small self-care dressing area. And so I had found these mirrors on Amazon and I put one with these Velcro strips on the side of the wardrobe, hung a little bit of artwork, and I found this adorable chair for $2 at a garage sale, which I was just so excited when I saw it. Um, it works perfect. It's just the perfect size for them right now. And I found two hairbrushes and toothbrushes for them, and so I put those in a small little basket, and I have a hook for a washcloth. just doing some restocking of their diapers and wipes. I find that I was storing these in a different area in our home, not in their bedroom. And since we've been doing more times of the day getting dressed in here and diaper changes, I needed to find a place for them in their bedroom. And just doing a little bit of tidying up. So that's just what I want to share with you today. I have just enjoyed watching the boys gravitate towards these areas in our home that are created just for them and it seems that they know that as well and are really excited um, to engage in these areas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I create one new video each week on Montessori and Montessori inspired homemaking. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by our Montessori home.